a king from West Africa wrote me many years ago and wanted to spend 30 days in my home with me. I had never met him. So I asked his associate, I said, be sure that you give me a, a list of protocols. What's he expecting me to do? In those list of protocols was whenever he walked into a room, everybody was to stand. I introduced him to the schools in the area, etc. when he came. Many thoughts about that. The thought I want to talk to you about is not just Donald Trump, but I want to talk to you about the kingly anointing. And I wrote a book about the kingly anointing. And what the book says is don't leave the chariot to choke the peasants. Don't leave the chariot to chase peasants who are throwing tomatoes at you. Stay in the kingly anointing, even when the environment of disrespect emerges. It's a very different kind of book. It's book 270. It's $5 if you want it. Here's the phone number, 817-759-2665. From 9 o'clock in the morning to 5 any day of the week. Just call and say, I want book 270 on the kingly anointing. I was on the 26th floor of Trump's Plaza. Beautiful place. Waterfalls down the walls there in New York. And 40 preachers were meeting with him about his run for the presidency. His wife had told him, Donald, are you sure you want to do this? Because whatever you decide to do, you will, it will happen. If you say you want to be the president, it will happen. Forty preachers were free for two and a half hours to ask Donald Trump anything they wanted to. He's very easy to talk to. <clears throat> Nobody easier in the world. He looks right in your eyes. He abandons himself to you. He doesn't look around while you're talking to him. He is a very unique man. And a man spoke up and asked him a question why he had done this. Somebody in his place is uh, one of his, somebody had screamed out at him and they ushered the man out of the building. So this preacher was real angry about that. Mad. Mr. Trump brushed off his something on his knee. He says, I, he said, I didn't know what the man was saying. He said, I just knew they, he was screaming at me and I couldn't, I couldn't hear the people couldn't hear me speak. So the security guards of the building took him out. And Mr. Trump said, I had nothing to do with the young man being escorted out. They were security guards of that building. Okay. About three or four people talked to him like a dog. Here we were in a man's building worth $10 billion. We preachers, none of us probably had a million dollars. We were poor men among a very successful businessman. Donald Trump part one here. I've got some more to go. He never raised his voice. 
He never said, don't talk to me like that. And this book on the kingly anointing, don't, don't leave your chariot to chase peasants screaming at you, throwing tomatoes at you. It's book 270. Is it hard to stay calm? I have about 15 wisdom keys on the subject of greatness. Greatness is the ability to stay gentle in the presence of dishonor. Greatness is the ability to stay gentle in the presence of disrespect. It's hard. It's hard not to respond to fools. It's hard. But I want you to make a a decision that for 30 days, in the whole month, that for 30 days, you will stay gentle and stay in the chariot. If you're a woman, we'll make it the queenly anointing. Father, I thank you so much for great people who know how to stay gentle. I still remember that day in Trump's Tower Plaza. Three or four preachers talked to him like a dog and he never changed his countenance. He stayed calm and he answered them gently. We want that in our world, in our life. Think about that. I'm going to come out. I want to send you another one about this. Hope you order book 270. I hope you order it.